Hi, I'm Clint. I'm the Camera Operations Manager here at Jaeger Pro. Today we're going to be discussing the Jaeger Pro app. Mobile App Operating Guide. Visit your Google Play or Apple App Store and search for Jaeger Pro Camera Management. Install the app with our logo. Once the download is complete, tap Open. Log in using your email address and password for your my.jaegerpro.com account. Once logged in, your home page will come up and start downloading pictures from the server. At first, several items will appear to be missing. For the best operations, allow your camera to finish downloading pictures from the server and uploading all content to your mobile app. Tapping on the General Settings tab at the bottom of the screen will bring up the following. Section 1. General. Download only when Wi-Fi is available. Choose off or on. If you are concerned with saving data, turn this on so that pictures will only download when Wi-Fi is available. This means you will only get pictures while on Wi-Fi at home or someplace you can sign in to the Wi-Fi. We recommend turning this setting off. Data usage rates will apply. Log messages. Choose off or on. Log messages will show up in the system log. Photos. Auto purge days can be set off or input the number of days before it purges. Photos that have been saved will not be purged and remain on your device. Photos will be saved on the server for 30 days. Photos are not purged from your SD card. Log in with Touch ID. Turn this on if you want to use Touch ID to open the app. Section 2, Automatically Download. Set per camera. Choose off or on. Choosing on will open up for all your cameras. You can select individual cameras to automatically download. Choosing off will allow you to automatically download all pictures or none. Automatically download. Turn this on to receive alerts in near real time. Section 3, when selecting a single photo. Confirm delete. If this is turned on, a confirmation prompt will appear prior to deleting photos. Confirm high res request. If this is turned on, a confirmation prompt will appear prior to requesting any selected photos. This option is better used depending on your device. Confirm video request. We recommend you turn this off as current model, up to the 4P cameras, cannot send video. Section 4, Notification. New photo available. We recommend leaving this on to receive new photo notifications. Camera status report. If this is on, the camera will send you an alert with each photo. We recommend you turn this off. Section 5, Notification Ringtones. Choose from any tone available. Default is a beep for iOS. Default is the default notification tone for Androids. On the app homepage, your camera may show no photo available below the information. Below the camera name will be the model ID, battery strength, and signal strength. When photos are downloaded, a badge box will show the number of unseen photos. On the right is a menu icon with three dots and three lines next to a refresh button. Tapping the three dot three line menu icon will bring up the following menus. Camera settings, status report, view photos, download photos, take photo now, share camera, and mark all photos as viewed. If it is a mind camera, there will be a close gate option in this menu. If one or more are not visible, scroll down inside the drop down menu to show the remainder. Guest access will not have the option to take a photo or close the gate. The first item is camera settings. This provides the same information found on the my.jaegerpro.com website. When you open this up, it will automatically download the camera settings. You can change and update your camera settings from this location. At the bottom, you can choose to update camera settings or retrieve camera settings. Note, the camera settings do not update in real time. Cameras update the next time the camera interacts with the server by taking a picture or sending a status report. Shared cameras with guest access will not have these options available. Touch your phone's back button to exit the menu. The second item is status report. You can also access this information from the home screen by tapping on the battery or signal icons. This is the same information from the website and will show battery level, signal strength, status as of the last time this camera updated the status report, power voltage, temperature, photos taken this month, Photos Lifetime, IMEI or MEID Number, ICC ID Number, Firmware Date, SD Card Format. This option only works on 4G cameras. 
SD card memory used and total memory available bar. Note, the power voltage is the voltage of the batteries inside the camera, not of any external battery or other power source. Next is the command history, which can show previously sent commands and their status. Lastly, in the top right of your screen is a menu icon. You can refresh command history or request status report here. Tapping this will request an updated status report. Guest access will only have the refresh command history option available. Touch your phone's back button to exit the menu. The fourth item is download photos. Selecting this will check the server for any new photos and download them. Touching the refresh button will also download any new pictures if available. The third item is view photos. This will bring up the photo gallery. You can also access the photo gallery of each camera by tapping any picture on the home screen below the camera name. Tapping a photo will zoom the picture view. At the bottom are these options, HD, Save, Trash, and Share icons. HD will request a high definition photo from the camera. Currently, all non-HD photos are compressed to 80 kilobytes or less for faster transmission. Requesting an HD photo will send it in a larger format and will take longer to transmit. Note, this option is not available with guest access. The SD card icon will save any photo checked. They will not be purged. Tapping on the trash can will delete the photos from your app. They are not deleted from the SD card or from the server. For an Android device, long pressing any picture will highlight the picture border and allow you to select multiple pictures by tapping on each or tapping the Select All button at the top of the screen. This is how you can edit, delete, or share multiple pictures. Simply select more than one picture, then touch the icon at the top to request the desired action. If you chose Save, the selected pictures will be saved to the default storage location your phone has set in the phone settings, which are separate from the Jaeger Pro app. Tapping the Share button will present you options of which apps you can use to share your photo. Android options will be any messaging or posting capable app such as a text messenger, email, or social media apps. Tap X to return. Tapping on the select button on the top right, then tapping one or more photos will bring up the following options on the bottom. Save, Trash, and Share. The fifth item is Take Photo Now. This will open your messaging automatically with star 500 pound. Tap Send to tell the camera to take a photo. The next photo you receive should have an S at the bottom next to Jaeger Pro. The sixth item is Close Gate. This option is only available for mine cameras. After confirmation, this will open your messaging with star 777 pound in the body text and your camera's phone number in the recipient's box. Tapping send will send the code to drop your gate. The seventh item is share camera. Sharing a camera will allow another user to see the camera. Tapping this option will open a window allowing you to enter the information of the person you want to share the camera with. After entering the person's name and email, then selecting which type of permission you want them to have, the app will send an email with a confirmation link to the email address you entered. The recipient will need to open the email and tap the confirmation link to access the shared camera. If they do not have a my.jagerpro.com account, the confirmation link will prompt them to create one and walk them through the simple process. Note, do not just give another person your email and password as this will cause trap operation problems. The main account holder can change shared camera access type anytime by tapping on account, shared camera management, tap the camera name, then change between guest or admin. The last item in the camera command menu is mark all photos as viewed. You can choose OK to select the camera currently being viewed or all to mark all photos from all cameras as viewed or cancel to cancel the action. At the top right of the home screen is the edit button. Tap this to open the edit option which allows you to prioritize the cameras by moving them up or down. Tap done when finished. You may also check the box and tap hide cameras to place the camera into the hidden camera list which will hide the camera from the app and stops receiving any updates. This doesn't affect any camera operations or activity from the website. To unhide cameras, tap account then tap hidden cameras. A screen with all hidden cameras will appear and you can tap unhide camera to start receiving photos again. To add a new camera using the app, tap the plus icon in the top left of the home screen. You can type in the IMEI number or tap the barcode scanner 
and let your phone read the IMEI number from the silver sticker from the bottom of the camera box or from the silver sticker below the screen of your camera. After adding a camera, you must input some camera information in the camera settings menu. Tap the three dot three line menu icon and open camera settings. Update the camera time zone. Turn real time to on and add the camera phone number. If you want to change the camera settings, you can do so at this time also. Once complete, tap Update Camera Settings. The last menu options at the bottom of the main screens are Help and Info. Tapping on Help will bring up the website's Facts, Frequently Asked Questions page. From there, tapping on Video will bring you to our YouTube channel. If you start roaming through the web pages, tapping on the Refresh icon in the top right will bring you back to our home page. This is not an option on the Android app. Tapping the Info page will bring up the About tab with the following information. Application version, mobile ID, OS version, screen size, and model. Debug should be used by administrative personnel only or when instructed by support personnel. Tapping on Log will bring up the system log and show information if you have this turned on in the Settings menu. Tapping the Account tab at the bottom right of the main screen will show your email address at the top. You can change your password or update your profile under the Account Options section. We already discussed shared camera management and hidden cameras. Make sure your phone's notifications are on to receive updated pictures from the server. From your phone's homepage, locate your settings icon and open it up. Scroll down until you find the Jaeger Pro app. Here Android users should tap on the Apps menu. Then scroll down to Notifications and make sure it says Allowed and turn them on if not. Then scroll down to Permissions and make sure all permissions are turned on as well. Make sure it is in the Included section by opening it up and Allow Notifications. From here, make all the appropriate changes to reflect your needs. Notifications will come in according to the manner you specified. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you need to contact us, you can go ahead and call us at 706-718-9789, extension 1. Call or visit us on the web to purchase the latest equipment or learn more about the process and products needed to eliminate feral pig populations on your property. Be sure to visit our YouTube channel to view our entire instructional video series. Once online, keep clicking and like the Jaeger Pro Hall Control Systems Facebook page. If you have a story idea or just want to leave us a comment or suggestion, feel free to email us at info at